Good morning everybody, Mel Sol here from the Mel Sol Golf School and I'm coming from the Mel Sol Golf School at Tupelo Bay Golf Center, Merrill's Inlet, South Carolina. And uh, if you are looking for a great springtime golf school, check out our website at ritson-soul.com or just type in Mel Sol Golf School, you'll find us. Check out our rates. We've got some great specials if you book before December. 31. This is a great facility. You'll see a video on this facility. Check it out. You won't be disappointed if you come to golf school here. So today being Thursday is Technical Thursday. And on a Technical Thursday we talk about swing technique and how it's going to improve your game. And today I'm going to tie it in with tomorrow. So what the theme is today is back pain. And then we're going to, on Fitness Friday, we're going to talk about exercises that can help you with back pain. But as a professional golfer, when I started golf, um, I was uh, 16 when I started. And the swing back then that they taught is what we call the reverse C. So when you were finished, you had to finish with your back all arched like this. And hours and hours of standing on the range that doesn't do your back any good. You're just basically grinding away at that lower part of your spine. And a lot of guys my age that are now on the senior tour still to this day have back issues. Freddie Couples are pretty much has ruined his uh, senior tour career because of all the back pain he's had. So I want to talk to all of those golfers that are now uh, juniors and uh, young golfers in their uh, early 20s, you, all of you guys and girls are so flexible when you're that age and you don't feel any pain when you finish with that arch back but trust me you are doing damage to your back as you go along and it's going to show up as you get older. So I want you to be aware that in the golf swing we want to try and keep the spine from curving too much. So when you go back and go through, when you go through here, what I want you to do is allow your chest to move forward over your front foot and not let it hang back. When you hang back, you immediately here are going to put strain on your lower back. You let that chest move forward and through. You're going to finish with your spine straight. And that's what you want. You want this lower back to be supported and straight up and down like that and no kink in the back is what you want in your golf swing. So whether you're a junior, you're a top amateur, or just learning the game, I want you to try and work on letting this shoulder and hip move forward and finish with your back straight. So forward and straight like that. So watch here. When I go through this shot, so see I'm even almost losing my balance because I'm working on going forward. I want no strain in my lower back. So ask your coach or your parents or your friends uh, when you're practicing, ask them if they notice anything or just videotape your own swing and check it out. This will save you a lifetime of pain.